The fastest and the most effective method for fat loss is weight training. I talk about that in a bunch of my videos. But I've seen that the biggest issue that people have with regard to weight training is the muscle soreness they tend to get after weight training. That's what we're going to be addressing today. Now to explain muscle soreness, let's get into a bit of history. So the first human, the first homo sapien appeared on earth about one or two lakh years ago. Okay, and that time nobody farmed. That time everyone hunted or went around collecting fruits and veggies from trees. Okay, so our bodies are built to adapt to that surrounding. Our bodies are built to chase animals over long distances, throw spears, climb trees for fruits and veggies. But our minds are in 2016. All we're concerned with is our email account and our Facebook and our Instagram. So the first time you go to the gym and you exert yourself, you lift weights and you run on the treadmill, the next day you will be sore. That's because you're using your muscles in the gym in a way that they're meant to be moved, but they haven't moved that way yet in your life. That's the first time you're exerting your muscles that way. So the next day when your body's recovering from that activity that you've given it, it's kind of hard for your muscles to take all that. It's kind of like a shock that you've given your muscles and your muscles are recovering from that. You know, when someone has an accident, how they're in shock, that's what happens to your muscles. But you should know that this isn't something bad. This is something good. Your body is growing much stronger than it was yesterday. When you do a deadlift or a sit-up or a push-up, you're effectively nudging your muscles and going like, wake up, bro. Now, with regard to muscle soreness, there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is that there will be muscle soreness all your life. But if you're a beginner, the muscle soreness that you're getting now is a lot compared to what you'll get in the future. In the future, it's very less compared to in the beginning. The good news, if you're one of those people who actually hates muscle soreness, is that you can actually reduce the degree of muscle soreness if you're smart and if you're scientific. So these are my top three points to reduce muscle soreness. The number one way to reduce muscle soreness is to have a cold water shower immediately after a workout. You know, when you get a bruise, when you get hurt, basically the tissue is damaged. So the tissue gets inflamed. We reduce the inflammation by applying ice to the tissue. It's the exact same logic. When you're working out, suppose you're doing a bicep curl, what's happening is that your bicep muscle is getting damaged. There are little micro tears that happen in your bicep muscle. So when you apply cold water on it, it kind of reduces the inflammation immediately which helps in long-term healing. That is the number one way to reduce muscle soreness. Every single big football club in the world makes sure that players jump into an ice bath immediately after the match. Cristiano Ronaldo does this. And if Ronaldo does this, I'm pretty sure it's the right thing to do. Tip number two to reduce muscle soreness is to keep your protein intake high. You keep hearing people saying protein is the building block of life. That's because every single cell in your body is made from protein. Now your body is super intelligent. When you damage your body during a workout, your body prepares itself for the next workout. It thinks that, okay, I got so much of a shock today, maybe in the future I'm gonna get another shock. So I might as well become stronger for the future. That's why in the recovery, your body replaces those broken down muscle fibers with stronger muscle fibers that will be able to withstand that much force again. In one of my earliest videos, I spoke about the science of the rep ranges. I spoke about how different rep ranges affect the growth and the strength levels of your muscles differently. So make sure you check that out if you're a lifter. But coming back to the point, high protein intake basically kind of gives your body a steady supply of protein. So when your muscles are damaged, that steady supply of protein will be like a constant fuel source for those damaged muscles to make stronger muscles for the future. So the higher you keep your protein intake, the better it is for your overall recovery. And the better your overall recovery, the better your gains and the better size of muscles you'll make. So make sure you get serious about your protein intake. The third way to reduce muscle soreness substantially is getting enough sleep. Okay, so to repair muscles, your body uses a lot of hormones, the most important of which is the human growth hormone. And the human growth hormone is released primarily during the early hours of your sleep. Bodybuilders actually take HGH injections to grow big, but there is a natural way to release substantial amounts of HGH and that is sleep. Now there's one concept that I've stuck to my entire lifting life. You know, all these supplements you get in the market, BCAAs, glutamine, all that, 
all that is nothing compared to sleep. If you make sleep a supplement and put it into a box and can somehow take all that sleep, there'll be no supplement that's as effective as that. So if you're trying to grow muscle mass and if you're trying to grow big and strong, make sure you're getting enough sleep. I'd recommend around seven to eight and a half or even nine hours for some people, depending on how your body reacts. So those were my top three points to reduce muscle soreness. But I want to end this video by actually saying that, you know, if you're a crazy person like me, if you actually like lifting a lot, eventually you want to tune your mind into actually loving the muscle soreness. You need to understand that muscle soreness means that your muscles are growing bigger and stronger. You are getting stronger tomorrow than you were yesterday. I can't stress that enough. Now, I've been lifting for a while and honestly, I'm addicted to lifting. But a major reason of being addicted to the lifting is the muscle soreness. When I am sore, it's actually an indication that, okay, yesterday's workout was awesome. That's how my mentality is built towards muscle soreness. So if you clicked on this video to actually figure out a way to reduce your muscle soreness, I'd highly recommend you change your mentality. Start enjoying muscle soreness. Start enjoying the progress that you're making in the gym. You're becoming stronger tomorrow than you were yesterday. And that's always a good thing.